good morning guys it is monday today it's a super exciting day because i'm giving my first ever presentation thing oh my gosh it's so crazy i need to leave right now because i said i was gonna leave on the right side of half past so just before half past to make sure i get there on time and find the place because you know time goes so quickly when you're lost and that is me every time i go to new places but anyways i was contacted by girls from purse sick form in cambridge so a school they reached out to me and they asked if i would be happy to come and give a presentation about what i do online so youtube social media talk about veganism life as a student being here at uni being at cambridge starting a clothing line nana um which i'm wearing right now and yeah just all things like that. I'm just super excited. I'm kind of semi-nervous, but it's super exciting. So classic Holly outfit, my mum jeans, the Nana tea, and my Vans, and then my hair in a plait. I didn't want my hair to go frizzy when I was cycling there because it is raining today. It was raining all day yesterday and it's kind of semi-spitting still. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to come back to college. So I've had to pack my bag here, which is super heavy because i've got my macbook in it and then later i'm also teaching a class for qtas i'm covering so it's kind of exciting day with lots of new stuff well, guys i see myself this is the poster <laughs> <laughs> run over here every time it's like i can fine. change you want me to change the sight no, that's, that's fine dynamic dynamic so i did not bring the inspire me board to put on the wall but i did make a powerpoint so i did feel quite professional with my slides in the background and i had so much fun talking about everything from veganism to studying being at uni um fitness and dance and it was just so nice to talk in front of a small group of people and just talk about how i use social media in a positive way to try and inspire people and educate you guys and motivate you you know to live your best life and to really just be mindful as consumers look after your mental and physical health and just try to be a better person in this world you know that's all i'm trying to do with my youtube channel and everything else so thank you maddie and phoebe so much for letting me come and give my first ever talk that is honestly crazy so this is phoebe and maddie but Hi. look how tall they are <laughs> phoebe is heels. six foot and maddie is how tall Five seven ish, but I'm wearing Chelsea boots. <laughs> well, you're cheating. I don't think I can come up to your level to get you in. There we go. Aww. I think this is the best angle I've had. Like I've never been this short in present to other Great. people. Also, Phoebe and Maddie that invited me to come and talk at their school, and it was really fun. So it's only like raining. I've stopped around the corner from the school because schools, you know, they don't really like you filming inside, and there's quite a lot of health and safety regulations in school. And when you come in as a visitor, you have to have all these visitor passes on, and you have to have your ID. Oh wait, do I have my ID? Yeah, I do have my ID. Maddie gave it back to me. Thank you, Maddie. But what was I gonna say? Yeah. I had to have a photo taken to be put on my ID thing, which is really funny. I was just like, eh. And then I'm currently gonna cycle because I have bibliographic training. I don't know why I've stopped, to be honest with you. My camera's getting a bit wet. Cycling in the rain is not fun. My vans, they're actually not the best to wear when cycling because they slip around with the pedals. And when I'm like pushing my foot down, my foot like slips off and I'm like, whoa. So I had a good hour in the department before I had bibliographic training so I just sat down in the canteen and did some work so I was going through some of the lecture notes that we'd had the previous day or the previous week because it was Monday I didn't have Sunday lectures thank goodness um, but yeah so I was going through the lecture notes as I usually do and if you want to check out my note taking method there are plenty of videos on my channel where I talk about it there are two in particular that I can link in the description box below working in the cafe also has the advantage of the fact that i can eat unlike most libraries so this is me enjoying my banana classic holly with her nana and nana tea on i mean that is an epic look to have going on so yes you guys if you want to get nana tea the link is always in my description box and we're bringing out more stuff at the moment for our winter release so yeah just a little shout out for nana there it is a page on my website, so hollygabrielle.com forward slash nana store. And you can also follow our Instagram if you want to. 
But anyway, so after I'd done those notes and I crossed it off my to-do list, I put my folder away and got my MacBook out so that I could then move on to do some admin stuff. So I had to go through my diary and try and arrange a supervision time because this year we have to get together into groups and organize our own supervisions. We have to go up to the lecturer and directly ask them, which can be quite difficult, but it takes a bit of time to get used to it. But then I crossed off my shoe list, which I was very happy about again. And then I packed my stuff away so that I could go to bibliographic training. So my bag was still exceedingly heavy, but I just had to move up to the second floor of our department and bibliographic training is something that we were offered it was optional but i thought it was going to be very useful and it did actually turn out to be really useful oh this is my background by the way classic me and emily it's a really funny picture and it makes me laugh every time i open up my macbook so in this session um we were just taught how we can search databases to look for recent articles science papers read the literature and how you can do it very effectively and quite efficiently which i didn't really know a lot about before so i got a lot out of this two hour session to be honest with you i've never actually heard of a quince finding out how you eat quince whoa wait let's definitely get some quince you can eat it raw well yeah let's wait, do three it. ways to eat quince quince treat okay so they're definitely edible I'm not gonna die when i eat them yeah <laughs> look at us with our quinces <laughs> I've never seen a quince not in my whole life. I'm gonna put them in my bag. Oh my bag is gone. <laughs> yeah. My bags smell like quinces. They smell really sweet. I've got me some quinces. I've got a package today and a letter in my pigeon. Let's unpack this stupidly heavy bag. So that session, bibliographic training, I can confirm was really, really useful because it was talking about how you can search for things using keywords and then do references and use like software to help you do your references so super useful stuff and that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to do some database searching so as i said i was using what i had just learned in the bibliographic training session to search for some articles for my dissertation so in a previous video i talked quite a bit about my dissertation which i'm doing for my final year and it is a science dissertation and i'm doing it on a topic that spreads between cancer and immunology and if you saw that video you will have seen the classic face of me struggling when i'm reading the literature which can be extremely confusing so here is another classic shot of me just looking incredibly confused when I'm trying to make sense of stuff and a lot of the time I have to sit there reading things over and over again often it still doesn't make sense but this is me trying to read scientific papers it can be incredibly difficult if you've done it you might be able to relate to this but it's what you have to do when you get older and you're in your final year and you have to read proper papers instead of textbooks Mm -hmm. and again we just look pretty confused but there are other times when i do get something or the penny just drops and i find something really interesting and i get quite happy like this Ooh, goody. but now back to being confused so i was reading papers for my dissertation and a lot of this was just me trying to read some summary stuff or some reviews which give me a broad overview and then i started to make a few notes on my macbook on word but then also trying to highlight some of the key points on paper which i often find really useful because if i don't understand something or if i want to get something in my head i will write it down so i can clearly see it visually on paper that is just something that works best for me when i'm doing research 5.39, I have 21 minutes. I need my phone and I also need tap shoes. We've had a complete change of clothes. So I'm taking beginner's tap today. I'm covering Vicky, I think. I'm teaching my first ever dance class. I have never taught an official dance class before. So I am in Pembroke, which is where I'm teaching the class. I think I've been here, wait, I think I can get this way. So I think I've been to this room before, but it was in first year, I think. Oh, that's the fellow's garden dead start the way in it was literally up the road from college so that's why i didn't cycle 
but oh i do recognize this place i know where i'm going now kind of been thinking a little bit but it's a beginner's tap class so i think we're gonna do some shuffles i mean they're gonna have to tell me what they know what they don't know might try some we could try some time steps some wings some Suzy cues we'll do some maybe corner work i don't know possibilities are endless so i did tell you that today was quite exciting i did my first ever presentation and i also took my first ever dance class which was really fun i can confirm so a very exciting day okay so we're gonna be doing some cooking this evening so you're gonna like cook with me i've laid everything out been really organized because i'm going to show you exactly what i'm trying to make well i'm not really trying to make anything it's just experimental as usual so i have my pans here um i've got my veg like kind of standard but i'm gonna be making a kind of tofu thing i don't know what to call it but tofu stir fry kind of thing i don't know this is a block of tofu i had some yesterday so i'm gonna finish it off today and then i'm gonna put in some like mushrooms some onion and then i don't know if i'm going overboard with the spices but i just got some out that i kind of fancied turmeric was oxy in there i have this garlic which is just like crushed granules so i think it's a bit more convenient than fresh garlic even though fresh garlic might be better i don't know i just thought this would be really easy to just sprinkle in so garlic because i love garlic and then i've just got some other so like chili paprika and cumin i'm gonna put it in like a tahini kind of sauce thing to mix it all in and then the box that i was sent today that you saw contains some goodies so it is from as you saw vt microwavable rice pots i'm holding it upside down you like snap it in half and they're individual portions and you can just microwave them or stir fry them but they're essentially very quick and easy to work with if you want rice instead of having to boil stuff this is the one i'm gonna have today so i'm gonna have a whole grain one but i was sent the basmati long grain pilau oh i'm very excited for pilau rice um thai jasmine oh very fancy and then another whole grain one so they have no artificial flavors colors or preservatives they're just like a very good microwaveable rice packet they're all obviously vegan Ugh. snap here maybe you have to pull it there we go. So just one minute, you microwave the pot, or you can just stir fry it, but I'm gonna microwave it. Those pots are also gonna be really good for when I have dance quite late and I just want to do something really quickly. So I'm just going to like chop my veg and everything, shove it in a pan and I'll just be boiling that. There's something that I find really therapeutic about watching people cut things up. So I just thought I'd let you watch me cut some things up. So I did some carrots, parsnips, leek, and then I had some other veg. I always have a lot of veg, it's me. Now I'm I'm just gonna do the stuff that I wanna fry. A half an onion, which I used the other day. Little cute bottom mushrooms. Now for more time lapses of me cutting things. So this is an onion, if you didn't know, and some mushrooms, which I was cutting up ready for the stir fry, as I said. And then I also got the rest of the tofu, which I'd saved in a Tupperware. Um, I got that out and cubed that essentially into quite small, cute little cubes and cutting tofu is probably one of the best things to cut i also love to eat it raw which you can do and it's not that weird it says it on the packaging of this brand and then i went on to make the sauce that i was going to be mixing into my stir fry so the base of that was tahini i added some spices so cumin paprika turmeric stuff like that some chili probably and then i mixed it all together i did actually make the mistake of adding water when I was mixing it in, but it did turn out great, as you will see. Well, I want to basically do the onion before I put the tofu in, and often when I fry the tofu with like the onion and stuff like that, it breaks up. So I tried to avoid that by doing it in a bowl first, but I forgot until I did it that tahini with a bit of water it goes like a paste, but it might go a bit crispy. I don't know if to microwave it a bit first and see if it goes crispy. We could do that. I'm gonna add some garlic, obviously. So this time, whoa, that's a lot of garlic. We may have just added a bit too much garlic, but that's fine. We want a lot of garlic. It's frying in like a splash of water. That's what you can see. And then I'll add some more of these spices. I'll add some spinach at the end. I might add some baby tomatoes, plum tomatoes. I'm not sure yet. This is gonna be heating up. Oh, it smells good, the garlic, yes. So this is going a bit crazy but it smells super good i wish you could smell this right now i'm gonna add in i think some cherry tomatoes they're gonna soften i hope there's my veg not doing that much because it's taking a while and then 
my tofu. I just put it in the microwave for a bit and it kind of was making a weird fizzy noise, but we'll try again. The first person I saw adding cherry tomatoes to like a stir fry or a pan was Bonnie Rebecca. So I should have probably added them a bit sooner so that they could soften up a bit more, but still it adds a really nice tomato hint to the stir fry. So I'm gonna do it more often. And then as um, you saw, I put the tofu in the microwave and it went slightly crispy. It didn't really make too much of a difference except it heated up a bit because that's what a microwave does. I added it to my pan and then I added spinach as well so it could wilt a bit. My rice literally took one minute so I got it out the microwave, fluffed it up a bit and that was all I had to do with the rice which is great. So it's quite hot in this kitchen right now. This pan is done. It looks so good. I'm really impressed with myself. It's just a case of like being creative and just throwing things in a pan. I literally did not think about that very much. And it smells so good and this rice is perfect brown rice nice and fluffy for me the best thing about making food is when you get to load it up on a plate or in my bowl and make it look really pretty so today my dinner looked really great i had my veg my rice from vt and my tofu stir fry which i was actually really proud of because i just threw some things together i wasn't expecting it to turn out great but it was really tasty so i recommend making something similar I didn't measure anything, I just shoved stuff in and hope the best. I probably have stuff all around my mouth. I have my plate here of goodness. I'm excited to eat this plate food. And you guys know if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge advocate of like making your own food, making good healthy meals and it's so quick and easy to do. Like I don't think as students we should just give in to the stereotype of making pot noodles every day or getting takeaways and eating unhealthy food. Tofu is the brand of tofu that I'm using as well. I love it so much, I have another pack, so yeah. To be fair, I probably do normally eat the amount of rice that's in two of these pots, but hey ho, they are good for being really quick. Just whip it up, put it on a plate and eat some goodness. That is good brown rice, I can confirm. VT says that it maintains the flavour of their rice and it is good. The link to check out VT rice will be in my description box and then after my dinner I did a quick bit of work so I was working on an essay um, here on my MacBook and then I had a shower before I went to bed essentially. So I am going to bed now, I'm just going to do my teeth. I hope you enjoyed this video as usual. I had so much fun teaching the tap class this evening but also giving my first ever speech and doing like a bit of public speaking which is really cool. So yeah, I'm going to say a shout out to Phoebe and Maddie again for like letting me come. Uh, I just don't think I've ever really been in a situation where the height difference is that apparent. But yeah, today was that day. It's a classic situation. I've never normally done talks, so it was kind of my first one. I was a bit worried that it might go wrong and they might not like it. Might be boring, I don't know. I was a bit worried, but hopefully they liked it. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll speak to you very soon in my next one. Obviously you can subscribe if you're new as well. Bye.